and what's important to you, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like your, your, your craft, your expressions, you know what I mean? That's equally as important as you being a good dad and being a, a dope ass, uh, manager of people and all of that. You know what I mean? Like, you know, yeah. you putting out high quality product, man, you know, put, put the time aside, man, do that. You right. And then once in a while I fall asleep on the zoom call. Okay, yeah, you know. <laughs> work hard, man. <laughs> That's that so night shift. <laughs> He yeah, said yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'm sitting there. I, I'm like, y'all fell asleep, like for real. Am I neck? What is it? Necrophilia? Neck? Am I a necrophilia? Nah, nah, you ain't no. No, yeah. you ain't no, 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 no necrophilia, no, no, no. bro. Necrophilia nah, is having sex with dead bodies. Right, you ain't one of them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Narcoleptic. Oh, <laughs> narcoleptic. It's <laughs> yeah, you right. I ain't fucking no dead bodies. My bad. Everybody, and in this, my bad. And you went from passing out occasionally to fucking dead bodies. That's a huge leap. What hood is this? The Abyss Podcast, hosted by Lukey Cage, with Carl and Primo Jack. Now, man. Uh, that's right. Yep. Yeah. You you might as well. Come on, go ahead. Start getting getting ready. He's back. <laughs> Get it you, off. You know what on. time it is. Yeah. Here we go. Hey, yo, I think that we was um matter of fact, let me start this. This is episode 35. Episode 35. That's right. Hey, yo, everybody, 35. boom, boom, boom. We here. It's the Abyss Podcast, episode 35. We got my man Carl over there smoking a cigar. That's right. Peace. Yeah, how are you, Carl? You good? I'm good. Fantastic. Move. Whatever. And you got over there, my man, man, 100 grand. You got Primo Jab right there. How you feeling, Primo Jab? Man, man I'm chilling, man. Living good, man. I'm all right. Yeah. Then we got right. the man over here. Every time I watched the Winter Olympics, and every time I watched the Winter Olympics, I was like, yo, Mavs can beat these niggas. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was like yo, could, champ. You, could, could you like imagine that? You know what I'm saying? Also, you got to send me that picture again. Of uh, that old album cover because my Instagram got deleted. You know what I'm saying? I so that. I don't got nothing. Yeah, I've son. Seen that. Yeah, so boom. It's I got that picture. Nothing, man. We got Mav in the building again, yo. Ew. Oh, you. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. So you a baseball fan too. I see you got the uh the Yankees joint on. Oh, always fuck with the Yanks. You know what I'm saying? If I'm doing something in another city. I may, I may, um, you know what I'm saying, rep day team. Like if I was doing a show, matter of fact, for the Boston show, I had got some Boston stick, you know what I mean? Because I wanted to show them love, but I don't like, I don't like Boston. I don't like the Sox, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, Yankees for this. Absolutely. Yeah, I think the dopest logo to me of all time, and I never have owned one of these hats, it's remember the uh, nah nah. It's another one that when I was a kid, I was blown away because it had an M and a B for Milwaukee Bureau Brewers. Is and it's a baseball glove. glove. It's oh, a that's baseball a fire glove. logo. It's that right. is, is a fire, fire logo. That is the, <clears throat> one of the most creative shit I know. That's, that's, that's real. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that, it's yeah. creative. I mean, you know, shout out the Illis logo in professional okay. sports. That's the uh, Chicago White Sox baseball man. You know oh. what I mean? Personally, you know, no. Okay, you're right. It's just the it's just Personally. the SOX. It's just the SOX. Then the black the black nah, hat with the white SOX. Plain. Look, that I'll give plain. you no, the, it's the white with the black it's pinstripes classy. looked good, but you really weren't the pinstripes, were you? That's that's still gonna no. Be it's the Yankees. The Yankees so. It's yeah. the Yankees. You know, I I'm it just gonna say. Be. Think about it. If I if I if I play for the Yanks right now, I have the brush cut. No, no facial hair. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like mm -hmm. they really, they really serious. When it come to class, mm -hmm. think about it. Like you ain't never seen nobody that was playing for another team that was like had real character with their hair and facial hair. <laughs> when they get to New York, that shit is a wrap. So indeed, true, true, true indeed. I, I, I fucks with it. You know what I'm saying? And that's the crap, most classic that's logo to me. Period. Is like the New York Yankee hat, like boom, like that, that's 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 like everywhere, yeah. But to me, the most creative logo 
is that Milwaukee Buick, Buick shit. I was like, yo, is it ever to be? My cousin Mario Bankhead, he used to get those hats all the time. We thought, like, is that like some gang shit? Like, nah, man, it's my name. Mario Bankhead, MB, yeah, yeah, yeah Milwaukee Buick. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely yeah. five joint, though. Mm-hmm. Expo, the Expo logo was pretty dope. Old school? I thought. The old school shit. The Expo. M? Yeah, Montreal. Yeah, Expo. yeah that's, a, that's a dope logo. Yeah. Team was booty. Both those teams was booty, though, yo. On the real. <laughs> I'm still Nobody saying the Hartford Whalers logo is the dopest logo in Expos. sports. Mm-hmm. Both of y'all was talking. I, 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 didn't, I didn't get that. My bad. Go ahead, Carl. Oh, I was just going to say the Hartford Whalers hockey logo was still the dopest oh, yeah, yeah. logo in sports. I, I don't know about the sports, but I'm not a, I'm not New Jersey guy. Devils. New Jersey Devils is a good one, too. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. The fly, the Flyers, too. The Flyers was a yeah, really, flyers. Really good one, too. Yeah, Flyers. Was yeah. Flyers. The Blues. They, they logo from, was I'm pretty hot. There. I'm from there. I don't, I don't think it was hot, yo. I think the old school Blues. The, when, yeah, the that's one the jazz yellow. note. Yeah, the, the yeah, the yeah, yellow, the blue and yellow, yellow joint. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. That that was blue, red, yellow, and all that shit. When they had bread hole. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was decent. Yeah, yeah, that's a forever ago, yo. We suck. No, we won. The, we won. Didn't Did we? You? Maybe. Carl, we won. We won like two years ago. Carl's like, we, uh, I don't think so, know? bro. We did. I think uh-huh. we did. Our goalie was was cussing. Who won what? The Blues won the uh, Stanley Cup. Like oh, yeah, a few two, years, three years ago. ago. Yeah. yeah. I said, we won. Did we? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> My boy's been good, man. I see everything uh, going going good over there. Cool, man. Just having oh, fun, open. man. Word. Having to find that spark every now and then just, uh, just to keep mm-hmm. going with this shit. You know, every now and then it yeah. get boring. Oh, yeah. That's how so you that's do a post-production. The, the, Oh. What happened? I saw you were doing some post production. Yeah, me and Speed. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Getting my project with Chook, getting that all lined up. And um, like I like I like everything that come after the rapping. Mm. That's oh, the shit that I really like. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like once it's all done. Matter of fact, um, if you check those videos out, I don't mm-hmm. know if I, I recorded that stuff, but um. Me and Speed was just talking about like you got to be more than just rapping and and getting it mixed down and putting a putting a project out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like that's I feel like that's the easy way. So you know what I'm saying? I, I recorded over the skeletons, and um, I sent I sent Troop all of the vocals, and he touched up all of the beats, put the drops in them, and everything. So that's what me and Speed was doing. Troop overslept. Mm-hmm. Troop overslept that morning. And that kind of fucked up the session. You know what I mean? Because it was some shit that I needed on to do on the spot. And mm-hmm. um, you know, it just it just didn't go the way way I wanted it, but it was still a valid session. You know what I'm saying? We got mm-hmm. like 10 out of 13 squared away. Oh, so sweet. at some point, you know what I'm saying? I gotta get Troop in there. Just you know what I'm saying. It's me and his project, so it's important that he's sitting in one of those seats. Exactly. Now, I can do it without him, but I don't want to do it without him. You know what I'm saying? Nah. He's from the town. He, he mm-hmm. should be like one of the easiest producers for me to get next to. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But like, if you know me, I'm like super punctual. I like um, I like I like shit a certain way. Um, I hold. I hold you, you're responsible. You know what I mean? I got expectations of you. If, you. if you're working with me, I got expectations of you. So, you know what I'm saying? When those expectations ain't met, you know what I mean? That shit, shit can get a little turbulent. Disappointment. <laughs> Folks, wow, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. because I feel like um, even though it was a productive day, it was also a wasted day. Yeah. yeah. To make sure that I didn't have anything else to do, I recorded on Saturday. Sunday is my day. Sunday is my studio day. Not for any particular reason. I just like to get in there first thing in the morning on Sundays. You know what I'm saying? So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna dedicate Sunday to uh, one floor over the cuckoo's nest. We gonna we gonna fuck with that and only that. So after me and Speed did everything that we could possibly do without you, 
I looked at him and was like, yo, let's shut all this shit off and get out of here. You know, we spent a couple yeah. of hours in there. Anytime we in there is productive, though. I spend more time in the studio with Speed than I, I spend with anybody. Okay. Anybody. So it's always yeah. productive. Nice. So indeed. I need to work on my punctuality uh, with hip hop. In real life. You better. Yeah. But real life is like. Life. Uh, I'm great. I'm always early or uh, on time. Mm-hmm. In real life for my job. I'm way like dropping my kid off, picking my kid up. Yep. I'm 10 minutes, 20 minutes early. My job, I'm always on time. But in hip hop, I guess since I ain't really making no big money or no substantial money all the time off of it, it's like, ah, I get to that. Yeah, work. Boom. Yeah, but you can't be like that though, man. Because exactly, like that's I'm missing the money. Well, not I'm only miss the money. Aside okay. from the money, man, I mean it's again, you know, you're in charge of your reality, man. You're the person that mm-hmm. creates your perception of or you know, deals with your perception of everything you're dealing with. So if you don't value the time that you're putting in your investment of yourself, which is your craft, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? That's, that's going to reflect, man. You all like, you know, like Mav said, if you, you know, you put aside that Sunday, you know, I got these couple of hours, you know, you moving in there methodically like a machine. And if somebody isn't coming through, you know, to play their part, you know, that cog isn't going to work the right way. So, you know, yeah, yeah right. cut the session short, you know, keep your time, which is the most valuable thing. Like we've been talking about, but yeah, man, like, Long story short, nah, Luke, you got to treat yourself better, man. Love yourself, man. You know, put time aside for yourself <laughs> and what's important to you, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like your, your your craft, your expressions, you know what I mean? That's equally as important as you being a good dad and being a, a dope-ass uh, manager of people and all of that. You know what I mean? Like, you know, yeah. if you're putting out high-quality product, man, you know, put put the time aside, man. Do that. You right. Like, hey, once in a while, I fall asleep on the Zoom call. Okay, yeah, well, you know. <laughs> work hard, man. <laughs> That's that night shift. Time. He said, yeah, me to yeah, 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 that, that's crazy. Yeah, hey, I'm sitting there. I, I'm like, y'all fell asleep. Like, for real? Am I neck of what is it? Necrophilia? Ne- am I a necrophilia? Nah, nah, you ain't no, no, yeah. you ain't no, 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 no necrophilia, no, no, no. bro. Necrophilia nah, is that having sex with dead bodies, right? You ain't one of them. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. narcoleptic. Oh, uh, narcoleptic. It's... Yeah, you right. I ain't fucking no dead bodies. My bad. And in this, you know, my bad. And you in went this from episode... passing out occasionally to oh, fucking man. dead bodies. That's a huge leap. That's a Ooh, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah, giant yeah. leap. Yeah. God, hey, damn. Yo, shout out to my homie. Shout out to my homie, uh, Icky Slick. You know what I'm saying? He used to have a shirt that said "Band the N Word." Oh and in shit. The back, in the back, it said uh, "Necrophilia." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They said a dude, he was uh, uh, in a coma for, I think, three years, and he woke up and had, like, a two-year-old son. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, you saw the... Uh, that. <clears throat> well, that, it just happened again recently, actually, and they charged the lady, um, you know, kind of with a sex crime because, obviously, he didn't consent to having a shorty, and when he Ooh, woke yeah. up, you know, she was trying to take him take him down, and he's like, Bro, yeah. I, I don't even know who you are. You a nurse. I didn't even know you. I didn't even get the clap. I didn't even get to enjoy this shit. Correct. (laughs) I I was violated. How dare you? Okay, I need a vote, though. I need a vote. How many of y'all think that she owes him some pussy now? That's a thumb down for me, uh, Luke. Yeah, I'm going to give it a thumb down. He doesn't need anything to do with that. I don't even want it now. You already got a baby. I already got a baby. Might as well go in. Nah, man. That, that how many, how many other prayed, comatose bro? dudes has she yeah. been riding? Like, thank you. You think Thank you, Carl. She just lucked out and got pregnant off the first stiffy? Nah, I want to know what she looked like. She's a predator. She, like. she, yeah, that too. But still, predator. She's still a predator. <laughs> 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 yeah, she is. Like you know, so I, mean, I will think about that, but you are still a predator. Even though you <laughs> are decent, I would do. I would clap, but mm, no, you didn't. you didn't let me... It's about the thrill of the hunt, man. I, I mean, I don't want you to just take it from me while I'm while I'm comatose for years. Like, right. come on. Like, I don't no, I had to nothing. anticipate that. <laughs> yeah. I ain't even, I I ain't even get to skip the hunt, on but the I just need to be. Word. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? I skip the hunt, but like, at least yo, let me be conscious. Oh, no. I ain't get to do none of my, my patented moves. No, yeah, this is it. This isn't right. Come on. No, sir. Absolutely one not. Called the mustache. Put in the back and do the do the Dougie Fresh. 
Nah, they swear. don't get them. They don't get the mustache. <laughs> only only one can get the mustache. You know what I mean? It's a handlebar. It's a handlebar. You got the handlebar. Fucking Joe. facts. The hand- the yeah. Mustache. <laughs> yeah. It, you know, sorry, ball, sorry. That's a restricted restricted uh area. You ain't allowed there. Man, I'd really, boy, I'd really be mad if I woke up like, oh, what, what is this? What's the meaning of this? Waking up, like, oh, what, what happened hell? here? The, Yo, the baby what, what is out, my name? Did I eat shrimp before like I you. went to sleep? What's the meaning Yo. of this? Oh man, that'd be crazy. <laughs> Check out the the giving mustache rides. Yeah, no, no idea. No yeah, sir. Skit oh yeah, kid. okay. That is dope. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to have Lucy out here. <laughs> yeah, got Yo, Lucy out here really, really has these embraced are, these are the... this father thing, and that, that's a beautiful oh thing, man. Yeah. I yeah, remember, yeah. You know what I'm saying? When he first broke the news, every time every time he mentioned his daughter, you know what I'm saying, prior to her being here and after, you know what yep. I'm saying? It's totally oh, yeah. been the same excitement. Big difference. <laughs> yep. Oh, I've seen him with a little outfit on, too, looking like um old boy from... um. The movie with the T. Dude that was out. out in the yard with the, the nosebleeds will start freaking out. I seen him he had a little hat on his oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You say he looked I like know. Lakeith when I he know. got I his know, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Get out of shirt. here. Get out, out of front. here. Hey, yo, I can't front. My pants is hey, mad tight. Boy. I'm wear I'm wearing the yeah, yeah, you right. Hey yo, son, it's like I, I, I don't ain't know mad what the fuck happened to. Yo, yo, yo. Hey yo, but you pause, you got big ones, yo. I can't wait to my 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 daughter get. Your size, uh-huh. so we can really be friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, like your kid do sports and like can communicate like yeah. everything. If if you if you got drunk at the club right now, you can call your daughter and be like, "Hey, come pick me up, Dad. You're drunk at the club again. Yeah, I'm the skate Listen. guard. I'm the skate kid. Boom, if you come Listen. pick me up, yeah. If, if I got drunk at the club, which you know that's probably not gonna happen. I could be sitting right next to two yeah. of my kids. You know what I'm saying? And I could have one of my other kids swing through and scoop us up because we got we got smashed in there. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. Well, 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 I, that's I, can, dope. I can get bent with my two oldest and then have my 18 year old swing through and pick us up. <laughs> that is dope, we, in here. we on the ground, bro. Come come get us. And this is the only reason why I think that uh I I know that we old. I know when I first found out how old Carl was, I was like, damn, for real? Damn. All right. <laughs> well, so I'd be thinking Primo Jab younger than me. And low key, honestly, I thought you was younger than me too. I was like, oh shit, no one. Yeah, yo. I, I don't say think, word. know why I think everybody is so word. like uh, oh shit. I don't know. Let's open this shit. Shout out to Big Ghost. I didn't know I, I had this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So my bad. Yo, international shipping? I thought someone else sent it to me. Yeah, it's fucking uh, the Sep shit. Big up the Sep Sep in, uh, Oh, yeah, it's the yeah. new joint. Yeah, that's five. Yeah. The unofficial oh, official. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah, that's what's up. That's a big ghost. I thought it was somebody else. I was, I was just opening it because I was opening it, yo. But yeah, kids, man. Kids are special. Kids will make you change your whole, whole shit. I done moved on to celibacy, like I said. And like everything is different when you got a clean doo doo out of vagina, yo. Like that shit is crazy, my dude. Like God that damn. shit is wild, yo. Yeah, yo, I made you change fire. your, your Instagram habits. <laughs> 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 my wife's fire. He said, "Bless yeah. you, dear. Are you fire. keeping me yeah. oblivious to certain shit? I don't even need to know." Hey, yo, man, God that damn. shit. That shit is wild, yo. Like, boom. I'm like, I open the diaper. I said, "Yo, why you do that?" And she's like, <laughs> four weeks old. <laughs> They're like, why, why you do that? How you do that? I'm just cleaning it up. Now I sit down on the couch and like, yo, I just really cleaned doo-doo out of a, a, a vagina, my dude. I ain't think nothing of it. I just had to do it, so I did it. Real talk. Yeah, you daddy. Like, you, got, you know what I mean? Who's going to do That's it? That's what fatherhood hood about. You're going to do a lot of shit you probably never thought you was going to do. The way you feel about things oh, is going to change. You know what I'm saying? The way you move. And, and the crazy thing is, It'd be like that when you have boys as well. You know what I'm saying? A lot of guys be like, oh, I got a daughter, so I could never do this. Like, nah, nigga, you got a mother. So, you know what I'm saying? Put that yeah. type of perspective. But when you have sons, it's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? 
one of the things that I found myself having to do is to corral my sons, you know what I mean? Because I see them uh, wanting to be like young me's. Ooh, it's man. like we came up in a, in different times. Different like, yo, y'all not <laughs> got good to. kids. Y'all freaking suburban kids. <laughs> you know what I mean? Relax. You got to relax. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? My kids, suburban kids, they don't want for nothing. They don't know anything about any of that. Shit. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like kids have more peers than they have family. But my mm-hmm. shit, I, my, what I say and, and how I move, that shit is law. Mm-hmm. So, That's you know good. what I'm saying? When, when one of my sons moving a little goofy, you know what I'm saying? We have we have a real live conversation, you know what I'm saying? Where I show him like, yo, this is how alphas move, this alpha shit. You see how I'm talking mm-hmm. to you right now? And you see it ain't nothing that could be done? I do the same shit when I'm outside the house. I talk to other men like this. And I dare you to do something. You need to relax. Mm-hmm. You need to relax. I'm an alpha everywhere. Well, 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 everywhere. So I need I need them to be, you know what I'm saying? I tell my sons, listen, I need you to be the type of men that I would want your sisters to be with. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I need your sisters to be the type of women, you know what I'm saying, that you would want. Always been very, very strategic with who I had around my kids. Hell, my whole team, my whole team has never stepped foot in my house. Mm. That's how serious I am about about shit. Everybody not welcome to my my house. Mm -hmm. I fuck with that. That's how that's how real I am when it comes to that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I I, I I don't invite myself or go to everybody's house either. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's a separation. You know what I mean? It gotta be. It gotta be. Yep. It gotta be. Listen, if, if the things that you show your kids. Those are the things that your kids latch on to. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So my my daughters, they wasn't around nobody that was twerking and head popping and all of that goofy shit. So word, word up. when they seen it, they was like, oh, that's what they doing? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to just do this. I'm going to go get these straight A's and I'm going to continue to do this. You know what I'm saying? I made sure that my daughters were around women that mm. carried themselves the way productive women do. You know what I'm saying? So that yeah. women that had women that had uh, structure in their life, women that were in long-lasting relationships, women, even the women that weren't in relationships at all were very, very productive women and did well and still carried themselves in a manner that, you know what I'm saying? I have you be like, yo. She got her shit together. It's one thing when people act like they got their shit together. Something yeah. totally different when you see them every single time. It don't matter where or how you see them. They always got their shit together. It's like line training. You got a big dog and you got a new pup. If you want that new pup to be what that big dog is, tie him up on the opposite side of the fence and let him see what the big dog do. He going to mimic that. Mm. And mimic that you know what I'm wow. saying and that's the same shit you know what I'm saying with my boys too that's the same thing with my boys like yo y'all gotta be productive men it's mm. a lot of goofies I told my, my son like that's yo good. you know that the fellas between the ages 17 and 25 those niggas is getting gunned down out there Real shit. yeah absolutely those guys are getting gunned down we had record high last year in gun violence and, and gun murders. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. all the across That's the world, across the world, across, oh, yeah. across the United States, yeah. But it, it was, was bored, it though. Was crazy. Yeah, yeah. I think one of the factors is small. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and we, we live right out, we live outside of Rochester, but still, it's small. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if you get involved in something, you ain't got no place to run. You go mm-hmm. to the same ch- church, you hang out at the same places. Your mama might go to the same church as your op. You know what I'm saying? So if you win it, you win it. Word's gonna it's get only a matter of time. You shop at the same grocery stores. Mm-hmm. You like to get fresh, you probably buy your clothes from the same store this guy buy his clothes from. <laughs> same you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Nah, ain't no running. Yeah. No running, running, into, running, running into somebody, that's, that's what it is. 
Atlanta is Absolutely. basically the same. It's basically the same way. But I think yeah. a lot of the thing was it's a little crime. bigger. Yeah, it's a little bigger, but still, like they still, they still, they still are going to the same places to get yeah. money and to hang out. You know what I'm saying yeah. they're going yeah. for the most going part. To, they're going where they going? <clears throat> uh, not Midtown. They're going to uh, Buckhead. They're going to Buckhead. Buckhead. Yeah. They're still everything. To, uh, yeah, they went. What? What? Happened? Remember when they broke to the mall? They went to two malls. Everybody went to two malls. They went to Phipps, Plaza, and Lennox. And Lennox. Everybody yep. went there and they robbed, robbed stuff. So boom. I think yep. the reason why some crime is up because niggas was bored. Niggas didn't have no job. Yeah. Niggas wasn't absolutely. Cool. So every everything went up. There but, was also a major decrease in police presence in a lot of major cities as well. There you go. Especially That's Atlanta. Reason, yeah. Oh my God. For a niggas, multitude niggas of reasons. Quitting. Yep. Yeah, yeah, right. Multitude right. of reasons. I mean, because you had you had the Black Lives Matter movement and everything that happened early, but you mm-hmm. also had the pandemic and and with people choosing sides on vaccines and not being able mm-hmm. to work in in police mm-hmm. jobs and then Sorry. you know a lot of a lot of the homeless problems increased so police were intentionally told in a lot of the major cities not to arrest for a lot of the petty crimes and things like New that crimes. Just yeah. 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 so there were a lot yeah. of reasons that 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 kind of popped the numbers so much higher yeah but it went crazy <laughs> no it wasn't all right <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear it. Oh, Loki. Pop. pop. You said pop. 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 Yeah. yeah. Pop. I thought you did it on purpose. Did you? Did you? All right, whatever. I'm, but, I'm poetic. Okay. <laughs> Check it out. Um, no matter what everybody says, I'm a very practical person, and I, I've used common sense over any political party or anything like that. Uh, can we discuss this real quick? Um, I think one video I got flagged was uh, the Ukrainian... Uh, with the Nazi flag on my page, <clears throat> and I got a transaction for that. Um, I don't know why. Uh, but mm-hmm. another thing is, people always think or they swear my allegiance is not with black people. Sometimes, can we talk about the Black Lives Matter movement real quick? I mean, yeah. I don't think I don't think BLM which, has anything to one? do with black. Right. Oh, yeah, oh thank my you. god! Thank you, man. Thank you, man. You talk that shit exactly. Already. Oh yeah, of course. But I always try to tell people, man, I ain't with the Black Lives Matter movement, but I'm with the, the name and these independent Absolutely. chapters that have got nothing to do with Black Lives Matter. Yeah, uh, so the, the, yeah I'm I'm 100 for that. But Black Lives Matter, nah, man, fuck that. Like, nah, that, nah, man, that's like, mm. nah, that's some synthetic shit. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, not it no, is. Yeah. honey. It's, 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 so, it's ran by, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it, put it this way, it's, it's powered by, you know, somebody that's not black, and then the faces of it are some lesbian women. Yeah, they yep. don't like men. They don't like men. Right. And a lot of the people getting killed in these fields is men, and they're making Indeed. mad money. And I think they actually went. The money actually went to the Democratic Party, which is, I mean, I don't. I don't it went to various places, but it didn't uh, go to the grassroots like it was supposed to. Like uh, right the now. major argument that kept coming out was, you know, where are these donations going? And you saw, yeah, oh, well, yeah, the three founders, they're actually in, in control of some portion of the donations. I mean, to the fact that one bought a six million dollar mansion that they wrote off yeah, for, just work, recently. for work. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the current right. thing that's going on. I mean, personally, my feelings as far as Black Lives Matter is like, man, that's a that's a statement that relinquishes our power. Of course, my life matter. You know what I mean? Like, Indeed. that's not that's not something I'm not a, I'm, I don't believe in in protesting and all of that in this day and age, man. I believe in the power of um, enforcing your destiny. You know what I mean? Enforcing your way onto and your will onto those that have problems with it. You know what I mean? Like it it, it would be a whole different thing if people stopped fucking walking around saying, oh, please, oppressors, do something different than you've been doing for the past hundred years. Maybe this time you guys are going to be different. Please do something nice for us and just started punching motherfuckers in the mouth. Yeah. Busting stuff open. (laughs) No, no. Anytime some, anytime that somebody got beat up by the police or hurt by the police, all of a sudden some shit got fucked up. Wasn't no protest about it. Wasn't a protest. Nothing like that. Wasn't anybody going out in front of the TV like, oh, we're going to do this or we're all going to show up. 
No, just some shit gets fucked up. I bet you shit would stop, would start shaping up into a much more civil environment. Absolutely, Listen. because people would be like, yo, they ain't for games. No, nah, no. Nah, they ain't, bro, they ain't about say, to sit back. Hey, listen, you, you can't be for games. So, yeah. uh, uh, look at it like this. I got, I got teenage sons. I got an adult son. Mm, let's, just say, let's just say one of my sons, mm-hmm. um, and, and God forbid this ever happens, say his life was taken by a police mm. officer. I said it in a song that I marched once and I never marched twice. I stand on that shit. Mm-hmm. But, uh, whoever he is, he got to die. Mm-hmm. Listen, when you start doing the Just same that shit to people that they do to you, now they gonna shit think twice. start to change. Listen, I'm an eye for an eye there guy. I'll blow your mother head go. off. You fuck with one of my kids. I'll blow your mother head off. Now, mm-hmm. all right, now we getting somewhere. Now Word. we getting somewhere. Mm-hmm. What Gay said, oh, yeah, I condone violence. I do. <laughs> Am I an idiot? Am I going to leave home in, in a little bit and go do some dumb shit? No, I'm not. No. No, I'm not. But listen, when you, when you introduce violence into a situation that involves me, I'm not going to fucking talk you to death. Mm-mm. Neither is my guys. Listen, what are we doing? When, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Are mm. we talking? All right, let's talk. Oh, we... we on some other shit? Well, let's do, let's get to that. Then. That's, I, I feel like, listen, you want results? Stop talking to motherfuckers. Thank you. Do that's the same that they doing, mm-hmm. doing to you. Just and once. That, Make a that's very would, good example. No, no, you don't have to do it. Check it out. In this day and age, I mean, for example, like, I'll say something. Carl will get on the Googles and like 2.5 seconds later, he'll find what People are, are one Google away from getting the address. We can find these people. If your Absolutely. congressman is fucked up, yeah, go protest. When well, we know where you go protest at, you go protest his in crib. front of his house. Then you right. Yeah. You Make, do not go on the highway. They, there you go. Because it's public property. They, those people don't live in gated communities. It's public property. Go sit them, stand on the sidewalk and yell all type. Go play back that ass up in front of their yard. Do anything. But do Make not that get on the highway. And motherfucking yeah. stop ambulances and people getting to work and getting fired and shit and putting your life at risk to get hit by car. That's the dumbest shit I ever seen in my entire life. Go to their <laughs> house. Uh, the governor, you know, I, I think it's the mayor of New York. Yeah, the mayor of New York, I think, uh, Make a good wasn't point, paying the trash you? people or whatever. Yeah, they weren't paying for the trash. And so they w- took all their trash and they threw it in the mayor of New York's. Uh, y'all saw yep. that shit? Yep, that saw that. That's a that's an effective protest right there. Absolutely. 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 I, I agree. Yeah, protest, but you have to protest the right places. But I for I I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm with it. I, I was I thinking about done. Yeah. I was thinking about taking my kid to daycare. You know what I'm saying? Uh if someone touched my kid, yo, boom. Oh, it's I up. might not I'm there's worse than there's stuff worse than death. You know what I'm saying? To me, stuff you have to live with. Yeah. Uh, mm. Yeah. Mm. So boom. Yeah. This stuff listen, that I don't they care live touchy. Right now. <laughs> they care of touchy something <laughs> because yeah, kids yeah. gonna do some shit. But it's yeah. about how how those things are handled. You know what I'm saying? For me, Indeed. I'm not one of those people who trust. You know what I'm saying? When my kids were little and and moving forward, I'm not one of those people who just hand my kid off to complete strangers. Listen, mm-hmm. if it was, listen, I, I talk to my wife about it all the time. Listen, uh, the lady at the school doesn't like my son's her and this I'm just not even the truth this just you know hypothetical oh, yeah, make it, make it uh, her husband is a police officer as well mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying so whatever's brewing in that house especially on right. account of my sons have done absolutely nothing to you or given you a reason to not like them you know what I'm saying I feel like right. we've been set up for failure I feel like you know what I'm saying I would have really really enjoyed homeschooling my children or finding a entity that embodied the things that were truly, truly important to my kids. You know what I'm saying? Education. <laughs> Listen, my deep. daughter is a, um, uh, a 23 year old professional. I remember talking to her when the, the Nat Turner revolt movie had came out. Right. Oh yeah. And, um, I asked her, I said, you know who Nat Turner is? 
My baby said, no, I never heard of him. I said, you know what? That's my fault. God damn. Mm. Right. That is, that is my fault. That is my fault. Mm-hmm. But my baby know who George Washington is. You know who Abraham Lincoln is. You know who Tom and Jefferson is. Thomas Jefferson is and all of this other shit. But things that really should mean something to you. These aren't the types of things. Like, I don't really need to know who George Washington is. Uh, don't need to know don't, don't we get a holiday for that shit? Listen, so it, I don't give a fuck about you know, holidays, a holiday whenever I feel like it being a holiday. Time. Right. All Somebody, you know that, yeah, like time. Right. Time. 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 You don't, time. You don't, you don't time. get to holiday, get the holiday yeah. tomorrow yeah. if that's what I want well, to well, do. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh, oh, only way I think of holidays is if we get paid time to have. Carl, do we get t- paid time, time to have for whenever I feel like it? There's there's only five five holidays during. Okay, so it depends on the business. We have a union contract, and they only pay for five holidays. Uh, so we union. don't get okay. President Day ain't no five. Christmas, so that Thanksgiving, day, New Year's Day. That's three <laughs> of them right there. Yeah. And then Fourth of July and Memorial Day. Those are the five the only, days. Those are the only <laughs> holidays I like. When I get paid more money. So for President Day, I don't get paid no more money. Fuck that. Word. I know I get Thanksgiving. <laughs> I get paid extra. Christmas. So. Yeah. So real quick, before we we got off of it, I I just as far as the Black Lives Matter movement goes, um, it's it's kind of my problem with human nature is, you know, we have to have something like a Black Lives Matter movement because people are fucking assholes. And (laughs) and then we have a Black Lives Matter movement and it's fucked up by people because they're assholes. Yep, and, exactly. and you know, like I'm driving down the fucking road and it's, you know, Delta stands in, in unison with Black Lives Matter. Why did you pay a million dollars for a goddamn fucking billboard? Could you mm. not have donated that to African-American like college students or I don't know, built up some fucking shit in inner cities or like there's hundreds of thousands of things mm-hmm. that you could do with those million dollar billboards and advertisements <laughs> just to tell everybody how fucking great your company is. How about you do something great as opposed to tell everybody how fucking great you are? Indeed. Or or Indeed. here's here's what most of those companies should do and should have been doing. Why don't mm-hmm. you took that put that uh, magnifying glass and saying you stand with Black Lives Matter? Why don't you turn internally? You know, all those middle managers that y'all haven't bothered to promote. Y'all know all them people that have been struggling, uh, doing hella great jobs, and you just getting pats on the back. Why don't you put them in uh in positions of power? You know what I mean? Why don't you empower people to be able to make a better impact for themselves? But that's, I mean, that's the solution if we're if we're talking about people who are functioning in that system. If we're talking about people mm-hmm. who are working in corporate Americas and and Absolutely. even just regular America, it's yo. The only thing I, I want my company to do is to turn some of that, oh, we care about the world statements, turn that shit back on the inside, man. I, well, I know 60-year-old dudes I'm, that... I'm real sorry, Primo Jab. should have been we a can't, manager. We can't, Primo Jab, we can't give you that promotion or that raise because we had to Talk increase that our shit, budget to, to show everybody how diversified we are. And ah, so exactly. that, that advertising that campaign was, was millions of dollars so that we you're could right. make you That's feel better about the fact that, Talk that, that you know, you're here... And and so we can't afford to pay you a decent living salary. Talk oh, that shit. Gotta finish, That's it. Mom, you got to finish it with this. Just be glad you have a job, Primo Jazz. Oh, but no, 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 no. But but we really appreciate everything <laughs> that you do for us. We appreciate everything you do. You sound now, like now, can we sit down and talk about you being five minutes late today? Because I am going to have to put that on paper. Boom. I'm going to have that to put part. that on paperwork. Oh, my that God. Part. Damn. Yo. Carl, you sound like you know. Damn, Carl. You know, you sound yeah, like, because you know, I'm a fucking manager yeah, at a listen, at a Fortune what, 500 Carl, grocery store know. that made me fire somebody on Christmas Eve this year. And if there was ever a reason I wanted to get the fuck out of this goddamn company, that's fucking why. Mm, I had to look that shit. man in the face the other day with tears in my eyes and apologize to him because I went to his store to see him because he thankfully kept his job. He fought with the union and got his job back and was assigned to another store. And I went to that store to apologize to that man to his face. <clears throat> because I ruined his fucking Christmas. I ruined his Yo, family's fucking shit. Christmas. On, on shit, shit that the company could have waited a goddamn fucking weekend for. But nope, you gotta do it. You gotta do it today. Loss prevention in the store telling me it's gotta happen. You're fucking kidding me. And the guy didn't even steal anything. It wasn't I like was he did say. something wrong. 
Wow. He accidentally handed a customer some of the money from one of the self-checkout robots. Damn. Oh. What well, shit? <laughs> Wait, Sorry, hold on. I didn't mean to go off, oh, but hold on. No, you, you no, want to talk, talk about the heartlessness of shit. fucking companies? Real shit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, they gonna hear this and gonna be like, yo, that the dude Luki and, and the white monk. They, Fuck they, Kroger. They yeah. fired. I work at Kroger, a soulless fucking company that fucks people over every goddamn fucking day. <laughs> know how we know? Know how we know? Cause we get fucked over every day. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you Solidarity, huh? Hey, God yo, damn. Yeah, Those motherfuckers hey, yo, will put out. sand and Vaseline just to make it more uncomfortable. Oh, shit. That makes you think. I get it, though. He get it. I our see. Company, our company rewards people who do a bad job and, like, disciplines and, like, gets rid of the people that do a good job. And it makes it really difficult to show up every day, even though punctuality is my thing. And that's... The, Probably one of the reasons why me and Carl got along so well when we did work together in the same store. Cause like I was yep. always gonna be there. Like boom. I I was always there. After that, we just cool, yo. Where then and like, I don't Carl candy be there helping shit. me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Carl would be there helping me. He ain't have to. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, go ahead, go. I know you got a like a, a four hour commute to the crib. I think motherfuckers live four hours away from the from where we work. <laughs> <laughs> yo, Carl need to take the overnight bag to the to the to the job, right? For real. Like Damn, you live all the way over there? God damn, man. You might as well just stay till you got an off day. Like, <laughs> yeah. Go and stay. And just, just take a bath in the, uh, in the like the homeless man, people do. And, and build take a you bath a pallet. In the bathroom. Build yeah. you a pallet in between, in between the aisles. You know what I mean? Like we always wanted to do when we was kids, man. Just climb back behind some of them groceries or something. Build you a little pallet back there. You know? A whole little come crib. in and come or, out. You or, know, have a whole little land or, yeah. back there. Or... Oh, spring and Yo, summer like the stuff employee of the month movie. You gotta have a whole little spot. Oh shit! Yeah, stashed in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah you That's have a whole little everything. Up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Spring and summer, spring and summer just arrived, so we got like uh, what do you call it? Patio furniture and swings and shit oh, coming shit, in. Oh shit, it's up. So boom. Yeah, we so we building a whole land back that. there. Yeah. I, they, didn't they? Have, they, didn't they have the cot? Not the cot. What do you call it? The hammock? One one year. Ooh, they had the hammock. Sweet. The little. Yeah. Four, that look not safe though. That's leisure. That's premium leisure that you're talking about yeah, right there. You got the hammock. The hammock did not look safe. Shit, but I bet I bet it was uh, tested and approved by uh, numerous Trampolines people. Trampolines aren't safe I, either. I, you know, people I mean, buy those things bet, all the time. I bet that shit was overpriced like a motherfucker. You go to Target, get that shit for like sixty bucks less. <laughs> shit, man, get a couple of sheets, right? You could do it for free. Yeah, fuck that. I've sent so many people to Target for regular shit. Get your shit. bed sheets. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, go. <laughs> yeah. That's the Just option. You send, the you send admissions against them. Like, yeah, go steal some shit from Target, man. Nah, Fuck that. I'm we like, Kroger. Nah, 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 man. I'm like, I'm like, they, <laughs> lady wanted a cure egg. Cure egg was like 179. <laughs> I was like, oh, yo, you go to Target, it's cheaper over there. Or like, you want something else? And something, or go, to, go to Target. You, oh, this Tupperware is going to be cheaper. They got different stuff. Our food is cheaper. The food is higher. The appliances are going to be cheaper. It's because we're a grocery store. They're like, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So that's why you got to go any, over there and go get your specialty store. You got to expect the prices to be higher. And what I mean by specialty yeah. stores, if you go to a store that's dedicated to selling uh, DJ equipment, the prices are probably going to be higher there. Mm -hmm. If you go over here and they have DJ equipment, but they also got apples, oranges, and mm. you know what I'm saying, grapefruits, they prices on the DJ equipment, the same shit that's over there is probably going to be a little lower. Yeah, it's an afterthought. Yeah. But check it yeah. out. Uh, Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble. Uh, <laughs> all they shit, DVDs and shit, be mad high. And they vinyls be mad high. You go to Target because they have everything over there. Yo, Target mm -hmm. shit was so much cheaper. And radio, radios and uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, shit. What the fuck is that shit? Record players. I, I pointed at that shit like, yeah, I'm dumb. Like my, my so daughter be pointing you, that shit. You like, realize oh, yeah. why that is, though, don't you, Lukey? They have more so shit. I, well, I had a lady that, that asked me the other day. She's like, well, why is Publix grocery so expensive? And I'm like, because they don't have that many stores. They're, uh, they're not buying the same tonnage. Oh, okay. Yeah, when I buy 100 CDs from, from uh, Copenhagen Crates, it's going to cost me a certain amount per CD. But if I buy 50,000 CDs, you don't think I'm paying less per CD? Yeah, right. no, absolutely. Oh it's the same. Yeah. If, I'm, if I'm supplying 5,000 stores versus the 150,000 stores that Target or Walmart or Kroger is, is filling, 
you're going to get much better buying power out of a bigger company because they're they're, they're sure. investing so much more. You got fuck it for Publix, cheaper. Man. Yeah, fuck Publix, man. I was going to try to work for them. They said I had to shave my beard. I said, suck my dick. I didn't say yeah, New like, York Yankees. Nah, was, uh, um, yeah, I didn't want to do that stores. shit. <laughs> Kentucky, Kentucky Wildcats back in the day, too. There was like no facial hair. You're like, yeah. Oh, wow. wow. I, like, I, was like, I was like, man, for real. My dad put me on that shit. Tubby Smith, Rick Pitino, and the dude before that. There was no facial hair on them dudes. I'm like, yo, these, I don't know. One of these dudes look like the country. Like they never been out of uh, <laughs> the boondocks. <laughs> Like they drive, Yo, you they drive always them say, Don't never trust the motherfucker way ain't got no mustache. mustache. If grown ass man, he ain't got no mustache. He ain't got no facial hair. Don't trust mm. me. I don't so know, right D. now, the most trustworthy <laughs> person in the world is Primo Jab. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. Trust him with my life. And yeah, I got the soul patch. Mustache, That's how you know I'm not a narc. Right. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's the separation. Oh, if I didn't have that, I'd be a cop. Yeah, you know what I mean? But I got that, so you know I'm not a I'm not a cop, you know what I mean? And I got the dirty yeah. shadow too. Come on, man, Look, I'm, I'm good money. They ran up Hello, on us fellow at, kids. At, Where are the uh, drugs? The, the, yeah, the, uh, they ran up on us at uh, the police. <laughs> yeah, the they police did. Guys, no, yeah, in the Hawaiian off the Hawaiian shirts. They all was in terrible festival. dad shirts. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Word. And I was drunk off the uh, Mango Everclear. Uh, oh no. Uh, yeah, Mango Everclear. Uh, what the fuck that slurpy that, slushy shit? Yeah, yeah, slushy. That shit was that shit was good as fuck, man. Word. Yeah, we, we I had a good time. Was drunk. <laughs> yeah, yo, now nah, I'm already a lightweight. I can see a dude walk up, walk up to uh Cypher Soze and grab his bag and he said, You're gonna smoke, go around the corner. And he was filling his bag like, like, oh, you, you got a gun in there? Like, he says, oh, man, you can have a, a little 22 in there or something. You can't have really nothing in there. Like, if you're gonna look, just look, man. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Those are the worst undercover cops ever. Uh, five or six dudes with Hawaiian shirts on, all white males, in Essence Festival, walking walking down through Essence Festival. Yep. <laughs> Very low key. Very low key. Wearing jeans, obviously had their tactical vests on underneath their uh, their Hawaiian shirts. All of them in bad dad Hawaiian shirts, and all of them had baby face uh, haircuts. You know, high and tight. You know, you right. knew they were cops. You looked at them, you knew they were cops. They had, they had them glasses on. Yeah. So I don't know. You know I, I, didn't, I wouldn't I didn't be surprised, look. but they, like Luke said, they definitely had those sports sunglasses. Those glasses. You the know, the race, glasses. yeah, the racist racer <laughs> glasses. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rainbow lens in them. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, you yellow know, shit. yeah, them ones. They all had them with, with a little, uh, what are them called? The croakies, the thing that hold them around your neck, you know? It's kind of like, me going to Charlottesville with a flashlight instead of a tiki torch wearing this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got a flashlight. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. They go yeah, like, bro, you're you not with the <laughs> blood and soil. Blood and soil. <laughs> That's what they say. Blood and soil. <laughs> you will not replace stop, us. Man. Lukey's like, yo, replace me, Joe. I need a day off of work, man. Fuck Kroger. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. But we gonna, we gonna get out of there. We gonna get out of there. Right now we nah, fuck, bills, fuck them dudes in Charlottesville, man. Fuck them all. Fuck all yeah. y'all. <laughs> Some motherfuckers just aren't educated. That's what I come to realize. If you, if you love true. somebody, you educate them once, and then after you educate them once, then you can let them go. But a lot of people are not educated, and I'm finding out some people just don't know how to deal with people. So you don't. If you love them or you care about them in any sense of the fashion, even if they're doing something terrible or terribly stupid and idiotic, educate them one time. The least, yeah. but if you don't care about them, fuck them. They should. I think some people should know better. But it doesn't take anything to practice love and empathy. You know what I'm saying? Nah. But as good as as good as God's love is towards us, God or not, or not the energy of God is 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 is, is love. God's wrath is just as much as His love. That's what people got to understand. God's wrath in the Bible which I don't really under, go by or really believe a lot of times, God strikes people dead in the instant in the Bible, G. Word. So people always talk about God's love. God's, God's wrath is a motherfucker too. So peace, God. Listen, yeah. he wasn't just some peaceful dude. You know what I'm saying? And listen, in, that, in life, you can't just be a peaceful dude. You can carry mm-hmm. yourself in a peaceful way, but you mm-hmm. better... Be keep fucking dangerous, like yo. When shit got goofy, like now, nah, fuck the dumb shit. You know what I'm Bro, saying? Thing snap. All these guys, they gone. 
Mm-hmm. Yo, like two million eight hundred thousand people died in the Bible, bro. Damn, you got bodies. At least, yeah. at least bodies over bodies. Real talk. <laughs> yo, I was telling somebody like, yo, you know, uh, God killed more people than Satan, right? <laughs> but yeah. like, no, he did not. Like, yeah. I ain't yeah, that. Absolutely. Like, yo, you don't you fuck see that around, was- bro. Nope. That was the Old Testament before they they knew that they needed to kind of clean up his image a little bit because you know, right? Yeah, people Keep were getting in. a little too scared. That yeah, we we mm-hmm. aren't getting as many people on board as we thought we would. Let's let's yeah. sprinkle in a Tone little niceness. <laughs> Show some mercy. Can't get some people. Show some mercy, yeah. please. We thought Tone we could just down. beat people into line, but that that obviously isn't working. So, but look, you said y'all just said the key thing, right? I mean here we go love right love exists we know love is a universal constant man and hate has to exist but also yeah. the way i look at it man you can't hate something unless you already had that love for it so yeah. it's it's like the the equal and opposite reaction like the only way that you can be betrayed is by somebody that you love you understand what i'm saying yeah. because love that's what's going to hurt you can't you. be betrayed trust. by strangers you can't be betrayed by a stranger you know you don't give a fuck about a stranger you don't give a fuck about that. But what really hurts when somebody betrays you, when somebody breaks your trust, when somebody who you love lets you down, disappoints you, right. that's that's the pain. That's what really hurts you. And that's probably like, you know, think about it. God was like, yo, I gave y'all all this shit, man. And look, look what y'all doing, man. Y'all out here dancing around right. around <laughs> idols and doing dumb shit, man. God damn, man. I, I ain't enough for you. Okay. Right. Man, watch this. Watch this. Wow, wow, wow. You, and you know, you got to get with it. Yeah, I, I sent a, I I sent a the dude down, down from, the, from the mountain, man. He was up here blowing big dope, a.k.a. the burning bush. He came back with the, the tablets. You ain't even want to read it? Nah, B. I used to Dude's love that movie, Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments was the mm. shit, man. I, I used to love watching them people get blown up when Buddy came back down the mountain and th- and they was dancing around the uh dancing around the the, uh, the bull. Yeah, that shit was yeah. hilarious to me. My I don't know. My mother always used to have this shit on around Easter, man. And it was always the best part when God's wrath struck. I was like, yeah, get the ass. Punk <laughs> <laughs> them out, God. God. Punk them out. That was yeah. the funny part, man. Because <laughs> Moses came back down. He had them things. He's like, y'all. Y'all are gonna obey, and they're like, "Ha ha, no, we're not." And they was just dancing and doing their thing. He was like, "Okay, y'all gonna it's learn it's today." Over. It's, it's over. Do that. Put back that ass up on when they they doing that shit. <laughs> That's yeah. the remix. I bet you if you put that that soundtrack underneath it and just watch it with no sound and just have back that ass up playing, it'll be even it'll more hilarious. Perfectly. Yeah, yeah I, sure. you know what? I'm gonna watch that shit. It's like Mystery Science Theater Woo! 3000. Oh, I love that Just, show. I love that shit. That shit used to be hilarious. Hell yeah. <laughs> yes. Listen, my wife was my girlfriend back then, and I used to watch that shit sometimes, and she's like, yo, why are you watching this stupid stuff? I'm like, yo, it's just, yo, like, I need this laugh right now. Yeah, Trust absolutely. me, I'm about to go do some bullshit in a little bit. <laughs> like, I need this laugh. And that's what we it used to be. do was watch movies and come up with stupid shit to say and Absolutely. Right, it right. wasn't funny. Yeah, but, it yeah. wasn't, but it was. That's Some of it. the most funniest movies wasn't supposed to be funny, like Sling Blade. I don't think that shit was supposed to be funny. <laughs> no, I don't think wasn't. it was supposed to be funny. That shit was <laughs> that shit is hilarious. Yeah, right? I don't think that was supposed to be funny. Yeah, oh, I, me and my no. me and my mom laughed the whole way through. You know what I'm saying? Like word, word, word. Boom. Yo, I'm gonna go back I'm, what, real quick. I'll go back to the Bible real quick. Uh, the most bugged out story in the Bible is these kids was making fun of a bald dude. You know what I'm saying? And like God sent a lady bear, not just a bear, a lady bear to eat the kids <laughs> for making fun of the bald dude. Yeah. I thought after I thought I read that, I was like, yo, this is this is bullshit, man, for real. <laughs> Lady yo, bear, this, this lady bitch, bear, right? In fact, I, I promise I you, bear, kids. that still yo. happens today. Don't fuck with bald guys. I'm just saying. Damn. All right, shit. I'll send a lady bear after okay, you too. Okay, Carl. Listen, you uh, don't fuck with uh, bald women. You don't want mm. to get slapped now. Apparently, bro. Jesus you don't, Christ. You don't want your, you don't want your <laughs> life to to change. <laughs> yeah, man. You, man you, in the in the Mr. slap of a hand, bald bear, bitch. <laughs> You call him Will Smith the bitch bear? What happened? Okay, he made fun of, okay, Chris Rock made fun of a bald woman, right? 
So God sent the mm-hmm. lady bear to eat the kid. You can call him Will Smith the bitch bear, huh? Word? You better watch yeah. out. You know what? Will Smith is the bear. That's for sure. Everybody's joke for the last X amount of years. Facts. Yeah, Joe. Um, I feel like that the timing of him to be, you know what I'm saying? Whatever he was on that night was probably pretty poor. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not, and I never will be in the situation that he was in or um, the situation that he was in prior to that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, um, a, bit, a bitch bear he was. I, I don't, I don't do memes te- typically. I don't do memes, but <laughs> the perfect meme would be him sitting at the red table, imagining to himself, I don't think my life could get any more embarrassing or demeaning. And then a picture of him at the Oscars going, hold my beer. Peace to the sun, moon, and stars, man, woman, and child, all that, yo. Go over there to the Patreon page and subscribe to the Patreon page, the Crime Faces Abyss podcast, you know what I mean? You get exclusive content, extra videos, content for me and Carbo, and some other things. If you subscribe to our different levels, you get free stuff, you know what I mean? Every month you get for free stuff, like a mug, a sticker, a hoodie, some ill shit, you know what I mean? Shout out to Crime Apple for this right here. But yeah, go over there and subscribe to the Patreon, y'all get some exclusive content, like a video I did about Tochi, you know what I mean? I called him Tucci. But his name is Tochi. But boom. I thank y'all for all watching this podcast, watching it, tuning in everywhere. Go subscribe to the Patreon, know what I mean? Boom, 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 boom. Get more exclusive content from me, Carl, and Primo Jab, know what I mean? Boom. Peace and love. Back to the podcast. Mm. Mm. Oh, well, look, hey, man, it, regardless of what he did, man, you know, first of all, shout out Will Smith, man. I'm never going to forsake you. Uh, You know what I mean? I'm a, me you know, either, man. it's whatever. Well, you know, I agree God with you, man, whatever. you know. It's unfortunate that he he had that outburst. Um, it's a it's unfortunate, but I mean it was it was time. It was time for him to to do something in his head. Um, the only consequences he's facing as a, a a man who has already established himself has a production company, just won the Oscar for lead actor of the year. I mean, they told him that he can't come back for ten years. He's gonna be sixty something. Oh, yeah, Does he care? You. How many more nah, quality cares, movies is right? he making? He's like, oh, well, you got me. Uh, let me go home and cry on my mattress of $320 billion. I mean, I don't give a fuck. Like, yeah, man, so what? It he's was gotta worth go it. Home, he's got to go it, home they... to her. Yeah, that's the that's the worst part, uh, unfortunately, no, 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 as we continue no, to find no, out. No, nothing no, the Oscars no, right, can do nah. to him is going to be no, anything no, no, like no, no, no. that. Yo, nah, guarantee that's, not, guarantee that's not even a punishment. And when I was hearing about how they were going to penalize him, this, that, and the story, I was thinking to myself, like, how? Like, yeah, what you gonna man, do? Man, who give a fuck? He took it to the award though. Probably. How you gonna he stop me? Be right. Bro, you think gonna you be gonna there? stop me? I won the award yeah. for actor of the year already. So that was a pinnacle in my career. Uh, I have my own company. I put out content whenever I want to, so y'all can't blackball me and say you're not gonna work with me or accept me. Doesn't matter. You that power is going away from you. What you what you gonna do? Y'all can't take yeah. anything away. I'm still getting my royalties for um Miami getting jiggy with it. Uh parents just don't understand summertime. You can't take that away from me. All you all you gonna do is continue to crack jokes about me. It's which is unfortunate and that hurts more. That's the deeper hurt Real right tough. there. But I don't think so. You know, I think, you can't I think hurt he Will Smith. It. You can't hurt him. I think he's somewhere on the island right now, like living it up in, in they say in, he in, went in to Chris rehab Pike. or something, man. Yeah, oh no look quote unquote luxury, rehab luxurious luxury, luxury, yeah luxurious rehab. Uh, yeah. a retreat yeah, yeah, somewhere in yeah, Bali, yeah, yeah. Yeah, chilling, go. getting his Bro, mind right. Yeah, yeah, he was. Cosmos, cosmos, Look, his mind right in Bali. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, he already know. Come on, he has his mind right. That's the way to do it. Go to Bali. There you go. And Shout Chris out my Rock's man Michael Franti. Went up. And he helped Chris Rock. Facts. Yes, he did. Big facts. Get, Talk that. Gonna get. Yes, he so did. Cool. He really did a good, good thing. If you ask me, it was a big move. The bitch wow. bear. The bitch bear did a good the job. The bitch yo. bear. God. That's his new nickname. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna yeah. slander. I, I ain't gonna slander. Uh, it's ma- getting it's jiggy fault. with it. Because he said a bitch bear he was. So I, I, just no, I ain't did it, though. <laughs> was he a bitch bear? I said a bitch bear he was. Oh shit! Your uh, microphone cut off, man. He gonna pop back. See, yeah, he, he good. He good. Oh. All right. Bitch bear. You no, hear no, me? Before. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 oh, wait. there we go. About Whoa, whoa, whoa. There you go. You're talking nah. about everything other than hip hop music, but uh, boom. Uh, yeah, hold on. Uh, yeah. 
You can, I was just gonna say, man, we gotta talk to you, man. We gotta. I need to talk to you real quick, man. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Let me let me oh, ask you. Okay. No, let me ask you a real question. Yeah, let's get back. Let's get back to the basis of this, man. Down here in the abyss, man. Talking to an ill motherfucker such as yourself, Mav. I appreciate um, it, bro. How did you decide to open up a verse to any and all comers who decided they wanted to uh, spit some bars on that, that joint, man? I think that's a raw Sunday ass concept work. that you was just starting to do. I appreciate that. And that's um, we're going to continue that too. Um, I just felt like there's a lot of producers that wanted to work with me and they may not have gotten the opportunity. And there's a lot of artists that wanted to work with me. So I wanted to be inclusive. You know what I'm saying? The whole thing was designed wow. for the most part just to be a networking tool for myself mm -hmm. and it'll generate some traffic. You know what I'm saying? Continue to generate traffic for my website. I feel like if you got a website, your website should be active all the time, not only when you have a release, you know what I'm saying? Some people might yeah. only believe one thing, one project a year. If that's the mm -hmm. case, then uh, your website is only functional one time a year. So mm. they had to go to my website. They had to go to allthingsmav.com to yep. get that free download. And um, I was confident enough in my shit to put my verse on there and um, just let them, let them take, take their shots. Now, out of it, what I got out of it was I got artists that have never heard of each other and never known each other, communicating with each other, <clears throat> saluting each other. Yeah. Um, I have other producers lined up to do three piece, which um, that's my version of uh, a short EP, the three P. I do three tracks over the production. We may throw an intro and an outro on it to make it interesting. But either way, we don't take it serious and we're not gonna just put no bullshit out there. That's dope. So, um. Like I said, it was it's a networking tool and um it, it worked. I'm man, still man. I had to pull it down because I was continuing to get late submissions. Exactly. And, um, I saw you having to the tell people waking like, Look. up like yo, I just found out, you know, such and such. And I was like, listen, your time and your effort do not go on mm. But yeah, puncture. Listen, listen, Ed, I'm one of those guys. So the people who did turn theirs in late. Yep. After that 12 a.m. Sun, they weren't included in the uh, in, in the judging. You know what I'm saying? The judging was done by myself, Tone Beats, and my man um, Les over at Overtime Hustling Magazine. Mm -hmm. And um, okay. we picked the winner already. Um, I like the winner. He may not be who everybody, a lot of, you know, other people thought they should have been. You know, when you get your friends chiming in, everybody want to chime into their of friends course. but what i was looking for was not only a hard verse i was looking for somebody that was you know like me you got to be able to hang with me mm -hmm. outside of this music thing your life has to somewhat mirror you know what i'm saying what mine has been at times you know what i'm saying and um shit by the time this airs it'll be out there but um we went with uh benny lalo out of the uk oh, oh right. that's what's up what Benny Lalo did, um, he had a swagger about him. I understood exactly what he was saying. He didn't send the best quality joint, but I like that one thing that I picked up, he didn't let the whole thing play. So you didn't have to listen to my verse and didn't listen to his verse. Yo, he liked the shit. He wrote some shit. He started recording it from the break. And he went right into his shit. So I was like, yeah. I he like that. It. He got right to it. He didn't make you listen to my verse and then listen to his verse. He got right to it. He had a swagger about him. He had a confidence about him. And um, he was speaking my language. You know what I'm saying? He was speaking my language. When me and Riggs was listening to it, Riggs looked at me. I was like, yeah, this nigga right here. Yeah. I said him. That's what's up. I said, yeah, it's got to be him. Listen, I like Benny Lalo so much that... um. Probably over over the course of the next year, and it sounds like it's so far away, but this shit gonna be over with before you even know oh, it. Quick. Um, me and Benny Lake yeah, before, yeah. actually have talked about um putting the EP a full length EP together. Me and him. That's what's so up. So that nice. further bridges the gap between the states and and the UK with me and him banging out together. You know what I'm saying? Um. It was a lot of talented guys. Uh, the kid, what's his name? Black Saddam, a merry god. He was real, real fiery. Um, he had a he had a cockiness about him, 
And I like that. You know what I'm saying? But it was also guys that was popping shit when it first popped off that never submitted anything. Mm. I mean, my thing is this. Mm. I don't kill niggas with five followers and I don't kill niggas with 50,000 followers. So I, I'm not, I don't give a fuck about none of that. You know what I'm saying? All I want you to do is rap. Mm -hmm. That's it. I, fuck I don't right. care about how many followers you got. Listen, if the went listen, I think Benny Lalo probably got like five, six hundred followers. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. I like what he did. The kids speak my language. He got that swagger. He got that edge to him. That's what I like. That's what I do. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's really cool. So that's what that's what the winner is. You know what I'm saying? But we're doing another one. Um, the production going to be by Jamil Honesty. Okay. We might Shout even get Jamil a verse from Jamil Honesty on there. You know, he's a, he's a rhyme slayer. But on the next one, and we're going to make it a little more challenging, you might just get a hook. Mm. But the song going to feature me and Riggs on it. So whoever, whoever, mm. whoever gets the next one is on the joint with me and Riggs. And just to sweeten the deal, we'll probably throw you a verse. Probably throw you a wow. verse for whatever you got going on. So obviously, like if we like you enough to put you on some shit that we got going on, or put you on some shit that I got going on, I definitely like you enough to jump on some shit if that's what you want. And plus, like anybody that I was considering, I didn't just listen to their verse. You know what I'm saying? Because some guys get lucky. Got to mm. the verse off. I gave them the drop. <laughs> I should have. They should have yeah. blew my head off. Right, they should have blew my head <laughs> off. You know what I'm it's saying? Like anybody can make a three point wide open three point every once in a while, huh? I just say, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Wide absolutely. open, you gonna hit one out of ten. Yeah. So to make it interesting, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I, I did my research. I mean, what he got? What he do? You know what I'm saying? If this is the guy I like, what else? What else did he? Did he get lucky? Did he? Did he? You know, just put out a good one. I went and listened to his shit, and I was like, yo, I like this. I like this kid okay, shit. Okay. This. Dudes, it's good stuff. Good stuff, man. Shout out Benny Listen, Lalo, the production man. Production was tight. He was dope. He had a, a dope okay. presence on on his shit, and then he brought his bullshit over to my shit. And I said, I yeah, love that. that. Yeah, me too. That's what's me up, too. man. That's me why too. I really wanted to talk about that with you, man. I, I really uh, admire the fact that you um you you build in this network, man. Like you again, you being the change that you want to see or that people think needs to happen. You linking together things that people didn't even know existed, man. Like now I got to mm -hmm. go look up Benny Lalo, you know, in mm -hmm. anticipation mm -hmm. of what I'm going to hear from you. Because obviously if you stamping him, you know, he's got to be, he's, he got to be decent. So, okay, bet. I'm on that. But that's what I'm saying, yeah, man. Like, he humble. He humble. Wow. He humbler. He humbler than he got to be. That's right. dope. That's dope. Yes. He's, he's humbler than he has to be. I know what you mean. Be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause yeah. you, he, he ill like that. Okay, say less, man. I like it. Straight like to the it. Googles. Yeah. yeah, straight to the Googles. Straight to the Googles. Yeah, yeah. Like straight it. to the Googles, man. Went, Benny Lalo. Got that. And said, what else he got? Let me hear something else. Right, right. So, no, oh, then, when you find somebody ill. Okay. Yep, he got a joint called Feed the Pest. And listen, this is how this shit okay. works, right? I stamp him. Somebody else got to go look him up. You know what I'm saying? What it's going to do is it's going to allow producers to come check out all of these guys that submitted shit, this, that, and the third. And then those guys going to be in their DMs. Yep. Yo, I want to send you something. I want to mm -hmm. work, this, that, and the third. Exactly. Listen, I told, it's a ripple. I told two artists. I said, listen, one artist saluted the other artist. You know what I'm saying? It was like, yo, his voice is ill. And these, both of these guys had submissions. I said, are you familiar with them? If not, introduce yourself, bro. That's what this shit is about. Introduce that's, yourself. That's 100 percent. Yeah. Real so. Organic. So yeah, man, it's just fun, man. I'm yeah. Listen, fun. I right, well, that's what's up. I have an ego when I need to have one, but like I like this shit. I'm having fun. I want other artists to have fun. I want to. I want to know who those other guys are. You know what I'm saying? That aren't in the girls' club. That aren't you know holding hands. You know, at that table. And plus, I don't want to be at the cool. I don't want. Listen, we is the cool table. I don't want to sit at nobody Fucking else's right. table. Yep. That's right. I don't want to sit Talk at that nobody else's table. Yep. Real yeah. shit. Absolutely. I don't want. I don't want to be roped into. You know what I'm saying? These guys are this. These. Nah. Fuck all of that. Like, nah, you, you know, we determine you, that. I do whatever I want to do when I want to. Fucking do. right. And so indeed, I want. I want to surround myself with guys who feel the same way. I want. I want those guys to be doing. 
what they want to do. I want to introduce, I want to hold, I want to go in and I want to leave the door open. I want to leave the window cracked and be like, yo, I'm going to be in here for 10 minutes. Yo, 10 minutes later, y'all come through this bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just like the old days. Yeah, yeah. Just like the old days. So we do, bring them push through. that side door open. You know? Yeah, I'm going to leave the side door open. Always. Absolutely. Oh, so yeah, it's going to be fun, yeah. man. We're going we gonna to do it probably every other month just because at the same time, you know, I'm in the That's middle dope. of working on things myself. But either way, I'm still having fun. The exercise is always good. You know what I'm saying? See what the young lions bring and old lions too. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. Anybody, anybody yeah. want to be active? I said, listen, I know I'm not that guy and I know I'm not that guy to be throwing any kind of contest. I said, but yo, I'm really him. Fucking I'm right. really him. You can't even you can't even talk to that guy. The guy who's the guy, the man. You can't even talk to him. Like yo, I'm accessible. Like if you fucking with it and you think you really got it, let's do it. Man, you said and it right the guys, there, man. The guys who felt like they really had it, they came out and, and did it. And I saluted every one of them. Man, you're talking about humility and accessibility, man. Like, I mean, that's so fucking rare uh, that somebody feels like they can share where they're at without feeling threatened by what potentially could be somebody else outshining them or quote unquote, quote unquote, in their head outshining them. Like to not even have that 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 feeling. You're just like, look, man, I, I got love for this thing, man. And I'm I'm putting on like I you know, I wish there would have been somebody who was like, yo, I want to put niggas on like that. Or, you know, like that's right. that's what this shit is all about. That's what this space is all about, man. That's yeah, I'm I'm done. I just had to salute you for that, man. I think that's a dope ass concept. Really I'm glad it, it it's working out the way that it did too, man. That's raw, man. Social media. Yeah, yeah. Doing, I see yeah. it. You have to. You have yeah. to. And Listen, keep your if blade I'm not sharp. Doing this music thing, I'm with my social media, if I'm not doing this music thing, if I'm not promoting something, if I'm not trying to add my contributions to the culture, then I really don't need it. I shut yeah. my Twitter down one day. I sent off one last tweet and was like, you know what? Yeah, this shit ain't for me. All I see is like mm-hmm. whining and all of that shit. And I'm not really one of those guys. I said, listen, it's that. been real. I appreciate all of y'all. Sent one last tweet off and then erased it. When I erased my IG, it's officially over. I've hung my hat up. Listen, if you connect with me, that's super, super dope. I've, I've taken something from the culture. You know what I'm saying? I brung some people along with me. And trust me, that time coming. That time is going to come. Where I'm not really going. I'm not going to need a, a, a IG. You know what I'm saying? I'm on my, I ain't going to say fade into the black because that ain't going to happen. I feel like the things that I've left, you, that I will, I will leave behind, will always, you know what I'm saying, be there. Mm-hmm. But you know what I'm saying? I'm going to just go on and do some other shit. But it's I'm going to make sure when I leave, I want to make sure when cats mention me, they be like, yo, I really fucked with bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, yep. Yep. He was, his pen was sharp. Yo, he was, he was like a man amongst men. He was a good dude. You know what I'm saying? And like, listen, I, I want you to remember me. I want to leave something good behind. So we we're saying all behind. that now. Hmm? We're saying Pardon all me? that now. I appreciate. It. I appreciate. It. I want to. I want to leave more though. I want to leave and, more. No, and and I'm not asking you to leave. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> and and I was gonna That's say right. I don't Count think there's an age no, limit no. on being the habit. So I think you can always keep your hands in stuff and and what you're building, what you've already built, and what you're continuing to build will be around long after we're all gone. But that that doesn't mean that while you're here, you can't keep your hands in it. But but Absolutely. you're already your pen is already sharp. You're already a great dude. You, you're you're investing and in giving that. back to a culture that's given you something. Yeah, I mean, you know, and that's, that's the thing. When you look at what I was doing or what I am doing, and consider it an opportunity, yo, for me that speaks volumes. That says a lot. You know what I'm saying? Rap Seminar chimed in and was like, yo, and, and he reposted it and was like, yo, check this out, man. Listen, math providing the opportunity. Listen, that right there hit me right here. Like, yo. It's major, man. When you consider fucking major. something like that an opportunity, 
like, yo, that means something. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, listen, I just yeah. want my contributions to be be worth having. You know what I mean? This is one of them things where the game ain't going to sit still and wait for your contributions, but it'll nope. definitely accept them when you when you bring them. The game will, will mm-hmm. accept your contributions. So I, I want to make sure minds are consistent and I want to make sure they're relevant. True indeed, true indeed. And true indeed. And that's one of the things I think people appreciate about you because sometimes when you meet and you talk to people that you admire in this abyss or this rap period or entertainment period, you you meet them and you don't like them no more. Cause yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. Facts. Um, it, it, it'd it'd be, be like that. that. Big facts. It'd be like, the, it'd number be one, like that. The, num- the number one person, Tyler Quali. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's a yeah. shame, man. They they putting out that new Black Star album too, and I'm I feel listen, some right. sort of way. I'm still gonna listen to it, but then I saw when they were having like they were doing some sort of interview, him most deaf and to live talking, and I I was like, man, fuck to live, man. You know, you, you know, like I, I I you know I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man. Don't don't you ain't got to no, chime in good. on that. You know, be I'm, like I'm rocking that. with yeah, I'm rocking with Lukey, man. You know, what I mean, I got to ride with Lukey, and I got to ride with Carl. You know, what I mean, to live uh tried to talk down to them, and you know, hey, man. Man, it ain't like that, bro. You know, I'm standing with my guy. Personally. I point still point think of course he went I took it easier personal. on us. I still think he went oh, way he did. easier on us he did. than, than he does normal. He, and I figured I was because he knew he was wrong. because so. he knew he was he, wrong. That's he, why he said. He said <laughs> that's why our, pod, our podcast is a safe haven for white supremacy. It's a safe haven for white supremacists, and we are enablers of racists. That's, that's that right. was what he said. All, I said yeah, these are the words yeah. that this man said, man. Was was I not face. supposed to put that in the description of our podcast? Because I'll take that you, out. You in missed a second. it. Yeah, you were supposed to say that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no. <Come on. laughs> yeah, somebody, somebody's supposed to proofread this shit before you put it out. <laughs> yo, hey, yo, Mab, I told him. Didn't realize that's what we was on. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't know. My bad. Wow. Yeah. For six hours, this man was like going in on us, and I said, Heavy. "Brother, I'm tired. I'm tired. I gotta put my daughter to sleep. I'm gonna wake up and I'll, I'm gonna reply or something like that." Then he kept on going for another <laughs> like three hours. Like after that, like I'm like, "Yo, how do we have this much time?" It was epic to just man. be on right. to just talk shit to us. Yeah, yeah he like don't you have anything like, else to do? Like, come on. Right. No, yes. I don't have bots. I'm the person that responds to all of these things. I was like, man, your thumbs got to hurt, fam. Like, come on. Calm no, down, man. You're going to get no, carpal tunnel. You're going to see him with them two Yeah, carpal tunnel. <laughs> yes. That's what I thought, man. That's nah, probably nah, to man. me. Yeah, hey, then he man. called Ooh, Bishop. Okay, dude. He, he, I said Bishop Wally Clark. He called Wally Clark racist. Why do you have yeah. that? And like, I was like, yo, this this to me, like, yo, like I, like I said, I see this motherfucker, I'm shooting the fair one. You know what I'm saying with this motherfucker? Square the hey, fuck up. Word. That's I don't care how many books you read, motherfucker. You that's said cool. that our podcast was a safe haven for white supremacy. He didn't go in on Carl. He went on Wally Clark, but he went in on me. And he said that uh, I sent him a message on my page, not the Abyss page. So I realized he looked at the Abyss page and saw that we didn't send him a mes- message on the Abyss. But my message was right there. He never read it. Yeah, we sent well, a message. He's like, inviting him to the show. Clark, Allegedly, do he, he owns said, a uh, Billy Club? Yeah, he owns a, like a little. <laughs> he owns a Billy Club. You know, you no, know one of those sticks that goes out like this. Yeah, that yeah. The you get in the head with him. You know the, the the stick. The Billy Club. Right? Yeah. So basically, yeah. He said, police yeah, baton. Yeah, 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 police baton. So he said he has that, and so a guy said, a guy said, uh, "What you have?" Blah 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 blah. You know the one of the times that the police beat, beat black people up with. That's what he yeah. used to describe it. And so then... Talib That's how he described it. Yeah, Talib took offense to say that and said he was a racist for saying that. You bought that because of the history behind it because you know that that's a device of oppression and white supremacy and you are using that to oppress <laughs> my people. It's symbolic. Like, what? Nah, man. He was That was his descriptor that he He was used at a flea market. To describe like, the stick that he had because it was the image yeah, that yo. you would automatically see was, oh, yeah, I do remember those pictures. With the stick right. in the hand when they was beating people that? over there. That's what he, Why that's do you what he have that? Why do you have that? I don't know, because I wanted to beat a motherfucker up if they came in my house. That's what <laughs> he said. <laughs> that's what he said. Them, it wasn't racial. Them, it was protect what, himself. One of them shits to the shins is going to hurt, B. Oh, uh, yeah, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Um, you know, I don't, I don't defend race cysts, but Wally Clark's racist ass 
has told me on several occasions that, um, listen, bro, you and Hobgoblin, Hobgoblin's connection is what inspired me to do this project. Wow. I heard what you guys did. You know what I'm saying? Listen, he's always, you yeah. know what I'm saying? That's dope. Kept it good with me. And uh, further, uh, my grandfather had a billy club. <laughs> <laughs> and, he had, and he had a police baton, and he wasn't a police officer. Yeah, so yeah. I stand with Wally Clark right here, And he had handcuffs, and he wasn't a police officer. Mm. I stand with Wally Clark right here. I got all kind of police shit, and I'm not a police officer. Yeah, you Word. just need it sometimes. It comes in handy. The purpose man, is listen. the purpose man, is universal. Man. Yes, it is. <laughs> it doesn't matter who you in the door, or I could take that motherfucker out and start swinging with it. You know hey, what I'm saying? It got a on. universal usage. Shout, shout out, out Wally oh, Clark, man. man. That's a that, good that dude, man. Club, man. That Billy Club, man. Shout out That's Wally it. Clark. But he been he been down here to uh um on Beaufort Highway and shit. So he was out there with the Mexican hustling with the uh, affiliate, right? The affiliate. So like boom, uh, yeah. so he probably uh, got while that. he plugged in, man. Yeah. yeah, he probably got that Billy Club out there on Beaufort Highway at the at the Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? No, he said he got it at a uh he he got it at a uh what's what's it called um not a swap meet, goddamn it, not a garage sale, Rip flea market, flea, flea market. market. Thank you, thank you, Carl. He got it at a flea market somewhere in Tennessee. It's but you need okay, everything cool. at a flea market. Joe, they got yeah. a crazy flea market the same in Tennessee. Dude, the same Look, dude sells butterfly knives and Rambo you, knives and hatchets yeah, and all that kind of stupid shit. All that Brass stuff. Brass knuckles. Brass knuckles. Everything. Yep. I got really all that. Mace. All kind of goofy shit. Look, all I, the and I've never hit anybody with the brass knuckles, but I'll be lying to you if I told you I wasn't dying to see how the money One day. work. One day. <laughs> One day. Yo, Boy, I got a, I got a comb. Moment. I got a comb that got a yeah, knife what? in the handle from a, a flea market. Mm -hmm. From that that very same man, you know, the brass knuckle police baton dude. Yeah, yeah and my and my wife lost it, man. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Yeah, she lost it, man. I'm I'm still <laughs> upset to this day. <laughs> that oh, that shit was wrong. I, I used to have a beard too. Shit. Shit was great. Have my little comb in my beard, and I just it's walk just straight up in the club, yes, pull out the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you never know, man. You never know when you need to have it, man. Word. Get back, get you back, get back. Let's start calling your beard and it's blood in it still. Nah, he got from the mud. That nigga, yeah. Yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, you know. Nah, it's a very nah, distinctive this, stabbing style. You do realize that, Primo Jab. That's, yeah, that's the That's a very <laughs> distinctive. You, gotta... you only stab this way in one place, typically. <laughs> phone check, phone check. <laughs> Shy <laughs> rat. <laughs> nah, Carl. Nah, and man. Then we nah, go eat man. Some mackerel. You never hey, know, man. Oh, yeah, mackerel. And Carl, hey, if we was inside and Carl came up to me and was like, "Phone check, phone check," I'm gonna be like, "Yo, I gotta go." Yo. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Phone check, phone check. Like, yo, this. Yo, come out of here, it. bro. You got yeah, it. Yeah, you got you it. You got it. Here you go. Yo, uh, I like that. I'm going to go, go, go eat my food fast. You know what I'm saying? See, <laughs> see if Carl's around. <laughs> oh, no. oh shit! So yeah. right. I, oh, I don't know if I told you this, but but I threatened my front end manager the other day, and you know I'll get like a little bit oh, crazy. Right. Okay. So okay, damn Kroger, um, y'all better do better, man. Shit. Well, and yeah. and I was kind of fucking around, so you know I keep snacks and shit in my desk, and. uh he had a baseball bat in his hand and he walks up to me and uh, he's a young cat, right? So he's, you know, thinking he's, he's all that, right? And he, uh, he walks up and he says, uh, you need to put them animal crackers in, in a Ziploc bag. That shit's nasty. <laughs> and I just kind of turned and looked at him and he stopped and I said, I'll give you the bat. I'll give you a handgun and I'll still fuck you up in under five minutes. Don't touch my goddamn animal crackers. <laughs> My wife said, you successfully threatened a man holding a bat and you eat animal mm -hmm. crackers as a snack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's me. You got yeah, it. But listen, but you eat those animal crackers. That's why you, you can do that. Like my yeah, thing is I, chocolate I, milk. Nutrients. I feel like that should keep me young. Mm. It's a snack of champions. The, the animal right crackers there. might keep you young. So you might be like, 
Oh yeah, so, I'll fuck bro up with that Louisville. He better chill. <laughs> he better go put that bitch yeah. back on the shelf. I don't, don't want right. to grow up. I don't want to grow up because if I did, couldn't be a Toys of Us kid. See, right. look, the comic books and shit keep you young. And listen, and that little it's lady in New York. Yeah. Oh shit, y'all. Yeah, that she did. The lady, that lady, I can't see, but them, that little lady gave me this right here. And I know that baby mama probably gave me them, them shit. That's some great. Yeah. Yeah, big mom probably gave me that shit, yo. It'd be, Listen, a, it'd be a struggle, you, bro. You're going to get uh, a lot more grace when it comes to, to children, bro. It's word. welcome it all, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ain't no uh, ain't no cookie-cutter curriculum for raising kids. It's a, it's a forever changing and, you know, twisting and turning curriculum. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why there's no this handbook easy, for though. that shit. This, 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 this baby is not on all Madden. This baby's on easy. This baby, like, really is... uh. <laughs> Oh, we shot a video today, and uh, the dude that came over to shoot it was just amazed. Like, every time we took a take, we put in the playpen, and she wouldn't cry, and she just get in there, and she get in there. I'd be like, here, here you go, baby. i give her a little xylophone shit. She'd be playing with it. And then she'd play with yeah. it. I'd call her MacBook Pro. she gets play with it, but she don't whine, really. And, like, boom, right. like. Each time I went to go pick out the playpen, she just jump up. Ah, yeah, so he was amazed. Like, yo, you don't got no whiny baby at all. I said, oh, I'm not right now. Like, but she really just cool. That's why I don't want no more. One and done. Put my jersey in the Raptors. Anthony Davis, y'all hear John that Wall, excitement? DeMarcus Cut. Yeah, DeMarcus yeah. That's, I was just gonna say, Mav. There you go. He talking that that's again. Absolutely. Exactly, bro. Yep. You ain't gonna never lose it. You never lose nah. it. Like when you care, you yeah. never lose it. My mother-in-law sure. sent videos of my um, my oldest daughter when she was, you know what I'm saying, a few months old. She sent like 10 different videos that, that she transferred to something from her VHS cassettes. Man, listen, as soon as I heard my daughter cooing when she was looking at my wife, yo, it took me right back to that moment. Like, wow. yo, that's the fucking voice of an angel right there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And anybody who ever seen me with my daughter, you know what I'm saying? Or if you see me with my kids, period, like you already know, like, yo, they tapped in, they connected. You know what I'm saying? Me and my daughter was singing Slick Rick at my niece's wedding. The wedding, everything I was saw over. that we video. Still just at it. Just having a good time. And and listen, she's 23, but sometimes I go for a ride with her. She driving and she playing Nas and stuff. And I'm like, yo, this is my child. <laughs> yeah. That's the like, right word. All of this shit came out before she was even born, but she is so tapped yeah. in. That's dope. Yep. Wow. She's so tapped in. But you ain't never going to lose that, bro. As long as you love the way you're supposed to love, yeah. you will never lose that excitement when it comes to your, your daughter. Anytime somebody asks you something in regards to her, the shit that's going to roll off your tongue just comes so naturally. I actually cry sometimes. Like when I have to give a speech in, in regards to my daughter on certain occasions or whatever, because that's where my vulnerabilities lie. My kids, you can't do shit to me. I'm impenetrable. Mm. My vulnerability lies with the things that I love, my children, my wife. Uh. That's where, that's how you get me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And in those moments, I get myself. My wife be like, he's going to cry. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? And, and I'm like, a lot, a lot of people won't even tell you that shit, but like, that's how I love them. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That I can comfortably talk about them and in those special moments without it being scripted or anything, I just say everything that's on my heart at that moment. And a, a lot of times mm -hmm. that shit is followed by tears. Like that's mm -hmm. where my vulnerabilities lie right there. So indeed, that's dope. Uh, the song that's that, dope, uh, man. that me and Carl cheers. co produced it's called Bitch Ass Nigga. Oh, the last song on that, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, it's a dope yeah. song, man. It's a, it's, yeah. it's a, a tearjerker. It's a it's a heartfelt yeah. but, song, yeah. man. I think Lukey definitely went into a different chamber of uh, expression right there. It's one of them songs that should be nominated for a Grammy. You know what I mean? <laughs> like if if they if they ever paid attention to our domain, and I'm saying that heartfelt. Yeah, yeah. We, Absolutely. we do need a, we do need a, a, a we need our own. Yeah. We, 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 should, we, really we just need our own shit. That. Yeah, yeah, gonna have to cut the everybody come to Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Just cut the lights yeah. off in there. Absolutely. Well, this yeah. is for the abyss. We got it from here. Absolutely, I man. It, I think it can happen. I think it can happen. But babies, 
opened up. Oh, there it goes right there. There it is. That's the Lukey yeah. album cover right there. Yeah, it's the, yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes J right there. Little, little JJ. Janelle Jr. Yeah. on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, boom. Having babies open up a whole chamber of shit you would never want to talk about this, like, fire. Like, I was sitting down eating ice cream with my daughter today before I had to go drop her back off. And I saw a, a stroller, another, another stroller that was, like, dope. Now I like, yo, that's a fire stroller. He's like, how old is your daughter? Uh, uh, eleven months, about to be one. Yo, my son's eight, eight months. Blah blah blah. We talked about it. Yo, this shit's like seven hundred dollars, yo. My wife begged me to get give me this shit, man. I ain't want to buy this shit, man. Actually, the Duna's like five hundred. Oh, well, you got a Duna, man. My wife won't let me get the Duna, man. I want to get the Duna. The Duna's like a bumblebee. Yeah, Duna's like Transformers. Blah 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 blah. We get that from, man. I got this shit from Target, man. That's seven hundred dollars. Yeah, it was online. Like word, they, you don't get a game for to put no target uh, uh, stroller in in there. So we that. In there. Yeah. Yo, yeah, yeah, we, you that. That, that, yeah. <laughs> we had a whole then them Kroger goons over there. They gonna cuff that there. word about strollers again. This is like the fifth conversation with niggas I had about strollers in detail. You know what I'm saying? And I would never thought I would have no kind con- uh, uh, conversation about a stroller. A stroller, nigga. Like what the fuck? So it opens up a whole nother stro- uh, stroller, a whole nother chamber of stuff you can talk about. And yeah, the bitch ass nigga song, like when you say you cry when you talk about your daughter. Yeah, like sometimes I want to cry, but I don't want to be no bitch ass nigga. But I realize when I cry, I ain't no bitch ass nah. nigga. Yeah, not I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not. Not taking not care of your kids, but you a bitch ass nigga. No, not taking care of your kids, you a bitch ass nigga. You cry. I cry on the so. podcast. You understand? Know because yep. I remember I was on the aisle one day. This is what happened at Kroger. Uh, Girl, I got everything pregnant, but you lost the baby. Everything, yeah, everything bro. But check it out. I was <laughs> on the phone. Was, it's, it's fucked up. I was on the phone. The girl I got pregnant before, but she lost the baby. She asked to be the godmother of my of my, my, my baby. Well, my baby mama, I know she wasn't having it, so I should have lied and said, yeah. But I knew that Janelle wasn't going to have that shit. So I told her, nah, she ain't going to let you do it. But she wanted to be the godmother of the baby because we had a baby, and she didn't think she could have no kids. So I told her, nah, Janelle ain't going for that shit. I know how she is, blah, 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 blah. But you could come around. But she was so sad about that shit. Three days later, she died. I remember. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah that is about, her. Not, I, posted, I, posted, I loved her so much, yo. I loved her more than yeah. anything. Any other woman, she taught me a lot of shit. But anyway, uh, I was calling a coworker in, in the store. His name's Dende. This girl's name is Della. So I typed the D, E, but then I saw Della's name in capital letters. Yeah. Popped on the phone. So I get stopped. And I just started crying. Yo, I'm on my knees just crying. My backup comes to me and he said, Oh man, do you need a minute? I said, Nah. He said, What's wrong, man? I said, Sometimes the love and the hurt of somebody being gone is just, you just got to let it out, G. But what Absolutely. do you need? What, what do you, I'm fine. But like, what do you need? But sometimes that shit just brings me back to like shit. Seeing that, and yo, I can't front. I called that number. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. no one answered, but the phone was on. But I just wanted that number. I wanted her to answer so bad, G. You know she ain't gonna answer. But I'm like, yo, fuck, I called it anyway, man. Like, like that Jay Z song. Yeah, that shit yeah. crazy, man. Yeah. Exactly. Go ahead, go ahead, go I got ahead. um, I got a couple of homies. You know what I'm saying? That are uh, no longer here, and mm-hmm. every now and then I send a text message. Just mm. because, just That's because, yeah. 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 So it, it's kind of like on that same shit. Just random. those are prayers, like, those are know, blessings. Thinking about you, bro. Just yeah. wanted to let you know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Listen, once yeah. I sent the message off, um, one of my old heads passed away, and um, I just, I, you know, I knew he was gone. He'd been gone for a minute, and I sent the message through his phone. And his wife messaged me back and was like, I love the way you loved him. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? For being who you are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, man. Yeah. Sometimes I still send a message out to to numbers that I know I'm not going to get a response from. You know what I mean? But it's just the thought of, yeah. you know, I could jump under a few you know, jump under a few IG accounts and send off a message and be like, yo, you know what yep. I'm saying? I got guys in my Big DMs cool. that, you know what I'm saying, over the years have passed away, you know what I'm saying, due to whatever. But, like, sometimes I just 
punch their names in and scroll all the way back to when the last message between us was. And it just, you know, just to reflect for a minute, like, damn. So we do. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, love I'm is love, Facebook bro. Wall. The Real Facebook sick. wall. The Facebook wall, too. Uh, Shandella's birthday was the other day, and our homegirl, Brielle, she overdosed on heroin. Crazy. Mm. Young as fuck. Like, 23 years old. Like, if you see them on the shit, and you hit them on it, you hit them on their birthday, or every once in a while you see a, yeah. a, a or, or you say you tag them in something on Facebook. You have a memory with a Brie, Brielle Taylor today, and you see a picture yeah. of, the, of them, and you're like, yeah, then like, day it just reminds you. Mm-hmm. Facebook will remind you of some shit you did. I'll be like, yeah. You get a memory <laughs> yeah. that pops yeah. up, and it'd be like, oh damn, yeah. that's my people. Real yeah. talk. Absolutely. Yeah. Sometimes the algorithm's like, good. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, other times you're like, yo, what the fuck? What the fuck was I writing on here, man? I was, I was weird as fuck, yo. <laughs> yeah, what the hell I was writing here. Then I look at my clothes. Why well, wear my clothes is baggy, man? Goddamn, I ain't had to tuck no machete in my pants. Word. <laughs> Goddamn, I'm wearing size 48. I'm definitely Shout out tall like tees. 31. There you go. Yep. Shout out tall tees, man. We was tapping. Yeah, we was yo. tapping into something deeper with those, man. Because I look at them. And I really feel like when we was rocking tall tees, man, it was almost like a a cry out to our uh yeah, like ancestry. kind of an Islamic ass ancestry yeah. or something, you know what I mean? Because look at them, you know, you wear those long, the long shirts. I don't know the name of it, you know, but you know what I mean. Sheep, I don't know. Yeah, the maybe sheep, maybe, sheep, maybe sheep, something that, like that. that. Sheep, I don't know, but we all we always in a tall sheet. Yeah, you you enjoy yeah. that. I need mm-hmm. I need no, I like I'm, the I'm bringing uh, baggy back. I have I like to. the ability to to run without pulling my pants up. <laughs> oh what? <laughs> I can't be out here just in stretch t-shirts. I just I can't. I got man boobs starting and shit. And no. Nah, yeah, Carl, come on, man. Come, come fuck with running. me, man. I got you, man. We going to the gym, man. Don't even trip, man. Oh, fuck you know, we're gonna get you, we're no. gonna get you off of all of those, those um, those crazy uh cravings and everything that you've owned, all them animal crackers and everything, nah, man. We we gonna we're gonna program not, it, bro. We're gonna get sure. to it. No His man boobs, bro. Italian, right? Your wife's Italian. Oh, say chef. less. You eating all, good over all, there. All them starches. Oh, we both cook. I taught yeah. her how to cook, actually. Yeah, yeah, you chef. Oh, nice. Yeah, you chef. Mm. He's chef. He don't cook. He's chef. He talk about making his own sauce and shit. I'm like, you making your own dope. sauce? Man, hey, yo, I yeah, ain't making my own fish. sauce. No, why? I ain't making no, no, I ain't making no sauce. It take too long. I'm ready to eat, motherfucker. Word. <laughs> Give me get Word. Man, Man, about food making is a, a blessing. Oh. Food yeah, is if a I want to eat to survive, I eat army love. rations. If I'm not eating oh, army, yeah, army rations, I want to eat, and I want to eat good. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely Indeed. agreed. Man, can I ain't got no army. They got, they got army. Yeah, they got army. <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about? Yeah. yeah. You never seen uh you never seen the movie when uh what John Candy and them had to defend against the Canadian invasion? Oh, that's right. In, in, in Niagara Falls. Why don't we have a thing about Canada's army? We have an air force. We have a navy. Yeah, they got a whole army, man. Yeah. You think we're a bunch of hicks up there or something? <laughs> eh? No, I just thought y'all. I just a? thought y'all was like this. I'll living. talk like this. <laughs> ah. I just thought like y'all. Ah. Like, yeah, Your yeah, head yeah. moving nah, different nah. too. <laughs> uh, oh, you talking yeah, about? No. You talking? Oh yeah, you talking about the South Terrence Park. Terrence I'm not your friend, buddy. I'm not your buddy, pal. <laughs> I'm not your pal, guy. <laughs> Can't make this shit up, man. No. Hey, yo, no. Canada, Canada, Canada niggas talk cool though, yo. Canada, Canada motherfuckers talk cool. You know what I'm saying? The cool ones, how about that? Yeah, yeah. Not the motherfuckers you see doing getting pranked on uh late night TV. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I don't you know, sound you know what I'm talking cool. about? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you sound cool. Daniel son and I A-son sound square as shit. And, uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> and and, and, what, and uh, who else who else? Uh damn, damn. Who Ras Fresco? Future way, future way, fan. And the whole, yeah, whole, yeah. All them dudes sound cool. Yeah, they cool, all but, sound yeah. cool. You sound regular. You sound American as fuck. Word. Yeah, come <laughs> on. You know you're an American. You got a gun now, man. You ain't a Canadian no more. You own guns. Pluralized welcome, that. welcome to I the right guns. side of the border. That's right. I said guns because you're an American. Welcome to our side, buddy. Word. Yeah, well. you, got, you got guns on there. You got guns. Yeah, but we've been on here for an hour and yeah, thirty-seven we've been. minutes. Yeah, yeah, man, we talk. chopping it up, we man. Talk, talking yeah. grown up yeah, shit, man. That's how we do. We have, you have. We, have, we have it, it, yeah, boom. Like I said before, anytime you want to come back on here, get your shit off, pause. Anything yes. you want to talk about, and you want got an idea for us, math. 
platform of this joint. You know what I'm saying? Word. Mm-hmm. Our platform is your platform. You know what I'm saying? Word, word, word. word. Sure definitely, bro. Boom, boom. Always and also, it, 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 speed skating, fuck that, that blade in that skate is just too big, G. If I fall and someone slices <laughs> my throat, that shit's a big blade, Yo, man. You, you can't get hurt from fucking around with those blades, man. Yeah, that, that one girl. You know, yeah. that day, me and my wife um, and the kids just wanted to get some ice time, just like some some family shit, and it, it turned into something totally different. You were That's that Pat Beverly competitive nature. It because I mean, it was my first time on 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 the ice. On the ice, like, yeah. I just, when I jumped on on the ice, I felt like yo, so I thought good. this was gonna be something different. Next thing you know, I was zooming around like, oh, this shit ain't nothing. Mm. And then the, the the longer you stayed on the ice, the better and better at it you got. I seen some cats skate, speed skate, and I had no idea the Rochester speed skating team was going to be there. And um, they was shit. They seemed like they was a little welcome, man. I didn't even have the same kind of skates they had. I had the rentals. Mm. And next thing you know, I was in line doing an obstacle course with, with you know what I'm saying, the Rochester speed skating team. And I was killing some of them. <laughs> So I'm going to tell you, as as somebody that grew up in Canada and we skated since we were little, little, I've seen a lot of people skate. Mm -hmm. And it's not everybody that can just pick it up. It's not an easy sport. So I'm telling you, that's that's you being naturally gifted. That's not that because I don't want people being like, oh, wow. Well, Mav said skating is easy. No, that shit (laughs) is not easy. I feel you, know, you have some talent. Mav did not this, so all, y'all man. can't do this. It's Listen, different. The, the, high nah, school, yo. Um, the high school that I was supposed to go to actually wanted me to play hockey. And yeah, I remember you saying it. It was just based on just based on stick work. I just mm. picked up things and, and, and liked it. I was doing slap shots in, in gym class. We were just playing floor hockey. I was nailing slap shots from all over the place. And the uh, teacher was like, yo, I'm a hockey coach over at the the high school. Like, you ever played hockey? I was like, nah, just, you know what I'm saying? I just like it. It's pretty nah. cool. You know what I'm saying? I play it here. I play it here. You know what I'm saying? He was like, hmm, we should talk. We should but talk. Like golf. There's golf and everything. It's just, for me, it's, it was the same shit. Go out one day, stink the joint up. Next thing you know, you go to the range. I'm playing. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm hitting a bunch of different clubs, finding out which ones I can hit comfortably to stand the third. A week later, I'm back out there. And then next thing you know, I play a whole round of golf and lose one ball. Mm. That's dope. Damn. And you got to hold your hands funny. I ain't fucking with that shit. That's how you know you're doing it right. Yeah. When, when it feel a little uncomfortable. That's how you know. Listen, my golf bag and shit downstairs is crazy. I got Scotty Cameron putters and shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, let me shut this oh, off. Bug, camera again. Yep, that's that's Bug. Yeah, let me um send him the voicemail. We get back to it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, 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 that, that was Bug Rock. Bug Rock. Bug Rock. Bug Rock. Rock. Yeah. Bubble Rocks. Yeah, yeah, yep. but yeah, man. That's how you know you're doing it right, man. When it when it feel a little awkward. Now nah, I don't want to do it no more. I'm like, yeah, it's weird, man. Let me go. I'm, I'm out, man. Hey, yo, skating. I'm out. And what skating. Happened? Skating is, bro. That shit is. I think hockey is the hardest sport to do. Like, you get, there's too much you gotta worry about. <laughs> Word. You gotta worry about getting hit. You gotta go forwards and backwards. You gotta, you gotta, you skating and it's cold and you gotta wear more shit on you. Then you ever play football? Yeah, yep. but it's not on skates. Right, true indeed. But listen, once you once you get a hang of being up on those skates and you can comfortably move around, that that shit gonna be like walking for you. You ain't even gonna be paying attention nah, what your legs gonna do. No, you gonna be worried no, about that stick. No, 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 no. no he's one hundred percent right. Cleat. No, 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 no. Yeah, because you ain't gonna be worried about what you don't think about your feet when you no. walk. You ain't gonna be thinking oh, about your feet when you skate. That's science. Oh, but your 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 trajectory with my quickness is helping me. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm doing a robot, whatever. With cleats, stopping with skating. Yeah. That's the yo. That's not that no, easy. No, but G. but again, nah. if if you give the average person soccer cleats or or football cleats, and put them out on a field and tell them to just move around, they're going to be awkward because they don't do yeah. it normally. Right. But if okay, you're okay. skating. 
for years learning how to skate. By the time you get to start playing sports like that, I mean, it was natural. The skating wasn't really, you didn't think about it. You just did it. I mm. think about hitting that wall. Like, how am I going to stop? Oh! That's what I'm thinking about, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know they had the, skate, the skating shit over there at Centennial Park and the, uh, and the other joint over there at Piedmont Park. They had that skate. I thought I was that dude, yo. Then, oh! Yeah. <laughs> Then you see like some little little twelve year old girl out there doing like double axles and shit. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna pick this little motherfucker over, man. Yeah, yeah. Yo, before before I would have said that, I would have like be like, I'm gonna kick her. But now it's like, oh man, look, way to go. Yeah, yeah look at all the That's someone's daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, oh yeah, look. Yeah, oh, yeah, way to go, little girl. Yeah. Before it's like, let me kick her. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick her up and punt that girl out the building. Yeah, I was like, yeah. Now it's like, oh, fuck, you touch it, man, motherfucker. Yeah, word, yeah. Anyway, yeah, we've been on here for like hour 45. This is episode 36, Carl. 35. 35. 35. Yeah, we, episode 35. We made it to 35, yo. We had Mav right here. Yo, we definitely, we had a great conversation with Mav, yo. Mm -hmm. Always have a great conversation, man, about a lot of stuff. Always. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Jot some of these gems down, yo. Definitely, they got the Abbott, yo. Anybody got some last words? Yo, Listen, I mean, thank you, you for having me. You're welcome anytime. You were part of the crew. Yeah, yeah. Truly appreciate it, bro. No doubt, Listen, yo. yo, when I first, you can call it like my first introduction to Carl. I think you purchased soups, breakfast at soups. And I messaged you like, yo, the bone shirts, like, I like that shit. And then you gave mm. me the spiel about the band, this, that, and the third. It was just the name. I was like, yo, I like that shit, the Bone Church. It shit just had an edge to it, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But, yo, either way, man, listen, I appreciate your support. I appreciate all of y'all's support. Thank you guys for having me. And um, should I look forward to chopping it up with you guys again? No doubt, no doubt. Uh, we yeah, look yeah. forward to that shit, yo. What, 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 what? Yeah, yeah. The ball. We'll see y'all next week. Matter of fact, go check out the uh, contest. And uh, what's, what's the man's name that won, won the joint? Benny Lalo. Benny Lalo. Benny, Benny Lalo. Lalo. Go, go check the out UK. Benny Lalo. Go check out Benny Lalo, boom, and wait, look out for the next drop to get you a chance to get you a verse from Mav, yo. Boom, boom, boom. We appreciate y'all for tuning in. Hey, yo. See y'all. Hey, yo. Go, 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 Hold go, on, go, man. Go. One last thing, man. You know, you all go. of y'all that are listening, man, you know, you should be honored um, that a man of principle and character a good father uh, exists out here. Somebody who that is is humbly and selflessly, selflessly uh, sharing their platform with people that uh, have that hunger and have that thirst and also have that desire to want to be dope. You know what I mean? He ain't intimidated by that man. You know what I mean? And he he raw on his own right. You know what I mean? That, that's this is he he's a, a prime example of what what is dope and what is raw about the abyss, man. So y'all y'all really need to soak up every jewel that you heard on here. That's all Appreciate I gotta say. Salute. 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 Yes, sir. Salute. 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 And with that, we'll see y'all next week. The Abyss Podcast. Peace. 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 <laughs> jig, jig, jig. Hey everybody. Please remember, go to our Patreon. There's going to be a ton of extra content. If you're just going in as a base level subscriber, we're going to give you all of the podcasts with the extra music added into it. You're going to get music videos whenever possible. Uh, we are also going to just add extra content in there uh, for the base level. But we will have two other levels. The second level is going to give you a lot of extra content. Uh, and the third level gives you the merch. So you can get that uh, one of a kind t-shirt that's only going to be available on the Patreon. But you're also going to be able to get a, uh, uh, a certified investor's mug. Yes, uh, if you want to check it out, you can go take a look at the Patreon. It's there, uh, as well as a dope hoodie. So uh, subscribe, uh, follow us, support the podcast, share this information if you can. Uh, we really appreciate you fucking with us and, uh, we'll keep bringing you more. Peace.